In this video, I'm going to show you the light fixture library that we have included in Shade Light for SketchUp version 2.1. The light fixture library is a library of components in the 3D warehouse that when you bring into SketchUp will render with the correct material and lighting information in Shade Light. We can see my rendered scene that I have currently here and we just have a closed room and if I look in my render settings, I've set this up to render with global illumination, so in my interior scene option here and also with artificial lights only. The light that I have in the scene currently is one of our light fixture components that I've brought in from the warehouse. So this renders and gives off the light information and the material information that you would get in real life. So if I wanted to bring in some further components into our scene here, we can do this in a couple of ways. The first option is if I go into plugins and shade light for SketchUp, we can see we have our light fixture library link here. This opens your browser and takes you to the correct place in the 3D warehouse for our light libraries. So we have our Visa lighting fixtures here. Now these are models that have been supplied by Visa lighting. So these are real life lights that you could actually purchase from Visa lighting. So these models, if you wanted to bring them into shade light and SketchUp, when if I open one of these, we can look at it and it actually brings in all of the lighting and material information to render correctly. So we can save this model here and we can then import it. The other option is if I go to my components browser here and I search for shade light library. The shade light library in the components are models that you can use to render in shade light. So we can see we have our replace me components and also our shade light light fixtures. So if I go into our Visa lighting fixtures here, we can see we have a number of lights, including desk lamps, wall lamps, and also ceiling lights as well, that we can bring into our scene. So if I just select this wall light here that we looked at earlier, and this will snap to the correct face, so you haven't got to worry about that orientation, and I'm just going to place this onto our wall here. And I can quickly create another copy if we wanted those two lights there. We can see when Shade Light updates here that we actually have the correct lighting profile. And as I said, this is actually included inside the model. So we have the correct IES files included in the models as well that you can use in your render window. So we can see that uh, it gives that realistic lighting effect straight away.